Being aggressive, uh, sticking to what we do, um, taking the opportunities out there and just taking full advantage of them. Um, and I spoke about me being more aggressive for my team, and um, I feel like I did that today. Indiana State's a good team, and they were picked ahead of Evansville in their conference. Evansville obviously beat Kentucky last night. Did that get your attention at all, take this game a little bit more seriously? Um, I think every game we take we don't take it for granted. You know, every team's capable of beating us, and we're capable of be beating every team. Um, Coach Mack makes a point to play to our standard. Um, I think today we came out, set the tone in the first four. Um, and I think that's why we came out with a victory, ultimately. Did, did Coach say anything to you all about you know really just just pushing for your shots? You know, just if if they were there, just really being more aggressive tonight. Um, Coach Mack. That does play free on offense. He just wants to make sure we share the ball um, and get the ball to the paint. Um, I feel like as a team, when we shoot threes, we like to have the ball touch, touch the paints first so we can get some good open, wide open looks. I think for the most part, we did that. Coach Mack made, a, uh, Coach Mack made a, a point about rebounding after the last game. You guys came out and pretty much destroyed them on the boards tonight. Just talk about the, the progress that you guys made from Youngstown State to tonight on that. Uh, I mean, I think we uh, made a lot of progress since the Youngstown State game uh, on the glass. That was one of our main keys to the game is dominating the glass. You know, we're a lot bigger than them and, and uh, you know, really stronger than them at, at a lot of positions. So we felt if we could we could dominate the glass, that would, that would help us a lot. And I think we did that today. I think we doubled their rebound. So, so we're happy about that. Dwayne, you had a kind of uncharacteristically uh, low production night against Youngstown State and then come out tonight with the double-double. What was your mindset just going into tonight? Um, kind of what first said, just be aggressive. Um, I think last game was kind of passive at times. Um, I think today I was a lot more aggressive and took my opportunities when they presented themselves. I'm um, also crashed the glass um, pretty well today. Uh, my teammates did a good job of finding me as well. I know you all are trying to build towards something, but you know, is there any kind of concern about doing too much too soon? I mean, it, you know, even if it's just the third game, um, you always got to be over ready. We rather we rather be too ready than not ready at all. You know, he preached that to us every day. Uh, if you put the work in, if we overwork, then you know we'll have fun on game days. The game day is supposed to be a fun time for us. When we in practice is when it's supposed to be a war for us. And I feel like every day if we take the approach of overworking, making sure we over ready, then we won't have no problems once game time come. Sam, is it a different feeling when you're out there the last few minutes and it's you and the other freshmen and fresh and kind of guys who have not been in this program for a full season and still trying to work it out? Uh, maybe a little bit, you know, not having, you know, guys like Dwayne and Jordan, some of the upperclassmen. Um, I mean, Fresh does a good job, I think, leading that last group. And even me, at times, have to step up and, and lead a little bit. But, uh, you know, I think we're all growing and learning. And I think we finished this game a lot better than we did uh, a week ago against Miami. So that's, we're making progress. Fresh, do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, um, it's not really that much of a difference. Uh, we we battle all day. We go through the grind, the, the summertime, the off season, preseason. We did everything together. So when those guys, those freshmen are in there, is it should be no no misbeat. Everything should still be the same way. Like Dwayne and Jordan and Ryan, those guys are out there, and um, I definitely take that upon myself when I'm out there to kind of be even more of a vocal leader out there, just putting guys in their spots and things like that. You guys made your first five threes, I think, seven of nine in the first half. Uh, Shot well for like nine for seventeen for the game. What was the key to? It was about a bunch of different guys. What was the key to the three point shooting tonight? Um, I think the key to our shooting um, early was getting the ball to the paint. Um, I think our point guards and wings did a good job of passing the ball and get to the paint, spraying out for open threes. Um, I think that's what led to the, the, the hot start for us. Malik was getting pretty vocal over on the bench. What what's he bringing? What kind of energy is he bringing while he's sidelined? Well, I mean, he's one of our captains for a reason. And uh, even though he's out, you know, he's done a great job just, like I said, like being a leader for us, you know what I'm saying? And uh, once he comes back, he'll be able to, you know, embrace that leadership, you know, like on the court. But uh, right now he's doing doing a great job leading us off the court, you know, in the locker room and et cetera. What was the message from Coach Mack to you guys when, when they made that run and cut it down to 11 there? Um, he just wanted us to remain even killed. Um, we kind of got some bad calls, but he wanted to make sure that was behind us. Um, he wanted to make sure we were about the next play. Um, I think we did a good job of that, coming back from that, that media and winning the next war. And uh, that's why we end up getting out to a bigger lead. 
Anything else? Great, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. you.